Hello and welcome. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to talk about uh, an algorithm for uh, Gomery Hood trees in uh, simple graphs. Uh, this is joint work with Amir Aboud and Robbie Kralkammer. Now, uh, maximum flow or minimum cut versus uh, shortest path. Which of these problems uh, is easier to compute? This is the question that we uh, care about. Now, in the 1950s, uh, Dijkstra showed an algorithm with running time m plus n log n for the shortest path problem, where m is the number of edges and n is the number of nodes. While the algorithms for uh, maximum flow have been much more uh, complex. Uh, now, in addition to that, the Dijkstra algorithm also solves the single source version, where uh, one needs to compute the shortest path from a single uh, node to all of the other nodes in the graph. So um, both of these problems uh, can be solved in n square time, but uh, we already have a few indications that maybe the shortest path problem is uh, simpler. <clears throat> okay, so uh, what if we're talking about unweighted graphs? Um, again, uh, we have the BFS algorithm from the 1950s that runs in time n plus n, and the algorithms for maximum flow uh, have been uh, more complex. So both of them can be solved in uh, n square time, but the shortest path uh, seems much simpler. Okay, now moving on to the all pairs uh, version of these problems, where we need to output the value of uh, the maximum flow or the shortest path uh, for all of the pairs uh, in the graph. And the question is, which of these problems is easier to compute? So the trivial algorithm for uh, these two problems is to uh, simply apply the single pair version n square time, which would lead to an algorithm with running time n to the fourth. Another trivial algorithm for the uh, all pair shortest path problem is to apply the single source uh, uh, all sinks uh, version uh, of the Dijkstra uh, n times from all of the nodes, uh, which would lead to an algorithm uh, with running time uh, n cubed. And uh, just for undirected graphs, uh, we can do something uh, uh, better uh, for the all pairs maximum flow. We can use the uh, Gomery Hu algorithm from uh, 1961 in order to solve this problem in uh, n applications of maximum flow, which would be uh, n cubed. Okay. Now, uh, to give you some more uh, details about the Gomery Hu algorithm, so um, what Gomery and Hu showed in 1961 is that for every undirected graphs, G, there exists a tree T on the same set of nodes, so that uh, for every pairs, for every pair of nodes S and T, the minimum ST cut in the graph, uh, I'm sorry, the minimum ST cut in the tree is also a minimum ST cut in the graph. And not only that, but this tree can be constructed in the time of uh, n applications of maximum flow. Okay. Now, um, uh, in order to find a minimum cut in the tree, uh, given a pair F, S, and T, we simply have to uh, uh, find the lightest edge in the path between them. That would be the minimum cut. So uh, in order to find uh, all of the values uh, given the tree, uh, it is very simple to do it in uh, n square time. And so the challenge is to compute the Gomery Hood tree fast. Now, um, Gomery Hood tree has a lot of uh, um, favorable uh, uh, properties that uh, can never uh, be true for uh, APSP. Okay. Uh, now, um, ever since 1961, uh, the question was whether uh, um, Gomery, Gomery Hutri can be solved uh, faster than n applications of maximum flow. Um, and no algorithm uh, uh, to do that, uh, not even uh, shaving log n factors from uh, n. And the situation uh, has been very different for APSP, where mildly subcubic algorithms uh, uh, exist uh, ever since, uh, even, even uh, in 1976. Uh, ever since then, uh, and uh, throughout the time, and uh, most recently with the algorithm by uh, Ryan Williams. So uh, both of these problems can be solved in n cube time, but the uh, APSP uh, seems easier. Now, if we're talking about the uh, unweighted graphs, we have the algorithm by Seidel from 1995, which runs in the time of uh, single fast matrix multiplication, uh, 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 maybe by, by uh, 
maybe uh, uh, not exactly uh, with polylog factors, but uh, essentially this is the running time. And for um, uh, Gomery Hu, uh, again, the running time is just uh, n cubed. So uh, for simple graphs, APSP is subcubic, while uh, all first maximum flow is not. So uh, maybe it uh, answers the question that we wanted. Maybe, it, maybe it's another indication. Okay, so to summarize, we have a lot of uh, reasons to believe that APSP is easier. Uh, we have uh, slightly less uh, uh, reasons to believe that uh, APMF is, is easier. So uh, uh, alters maximum flow appears at least as hard as uh, APSP. The question is uh, whether it is so. Um, so uh, we indeed try to um, uh, show conditional lower bounds for all pairs maximum flow, um, but um, uh, we couldn't find any. And so um, indeed we uh, broke the cubic time for simple graphs last year. We showed that the uh, gomery hood tree can be solving into the 2.5 time for simple graphs. And this doesn't uh, cross the bound for APSP, but um, uh, we're not so sure anymore that uh, APSP is an easier problem. And uh, the main result of this paper is that Gomery Hu tree uh, can be solved in n squared time for uh, simple graphs. Now, this is very exciting because it's the first time in history that uh, all pairs maximum flow can be solved faster than uh, all pairs shortest path. And, uh, and there are a few other reasons. Uh, one is that uh, this is optimal. So uh, uh, just the size of the output is n squared. So we, uh, we do not expect to uh, get anything faster. And also uh, to have an algorithm where the all pairs version uh, runs in, this, in the same time as the single pair version, uh, that's very uh, counterintuitive. And furthermore, uh, this algorithm can be randomized, which is uh, uh, something that I'll uh, talk about later in this talk. Now, let me mention that uh, this result uh, was uh, independently uh, discovered by uh, LPS and also sent to the same conference. And with an additional assumption uh, was also solved by uh, Jean. Okay, now um, what if, uh, let's say in uh, 100 years, uh, an algorithm for fast matrix multiplication uh, is designed uh, with running time n uh, squared. So what if omega equals two? In this case, um, the separation that we thought we have uh, is not there anymore. So in this case, uh, both of these problems uh, can be solved in uh, n cube time for weight, uh, weighted and uh, n squared for uh, unweighted, and we're back to square one. So in order to handle that, in order to still uh, try to say something, we can use uh, a central uh, assumption, a central conjecture from finite complexity, which says that uh, all pair shortest path in undirected weighted graphs cannot be solved significantly faster than any cube time. Now, uh, ever since the 1961, uh, uh, as I mentioned, the open question was uh, whether all pairs maximum flow uh, can be solved in subcubic time for general graphs. Now, if we're able to uh, solve this open problem, then it would imply a true separation uh, between the uh, all pairs maximum flow and the all pairs shortest path, assuming the APSP conjecture. Uh, now, the problem is that uh, it might be difficult because uh, uh, the 1961 algor uh, algorithm by Gomery and Hu remains the only solution for the general case. However, in an unexpected uh, development, uh, together with uh, Abud, Karat Gamer, Lee, Panigrai, and Saranwak, uh, we showed that uh, Gomery uh, uh, Hu tree for uh, weighted graphs can be solved in n squared time. Now, assuming the APSP conjecture, it uh, indeed gives us a uh, separation. So it shows us that uh, all pairs maximum flow can be solved faster than cubed, than uh, uh, all pairs shortest path. Uh, now, one might ask, uh, what if uh, uh, the, uh, the APSP conjecture is false? And that's a valid question, but not for here. Now, as far as uh, techniques, um, the algorithm in our paper and in the LPS paper are uh, similar. And in order to learn more about this algorithm, uh, you can watch their lecture in this conference. And in order to learn more about uh, the story of uh, all pairs maximum 
low versus all pair shortest path. Um, you can watch a lecture by Amir Abud in his uh, own page. Okay, uh, now uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the randomization of this algorithm. So uh, the general approach for Gomery Hu trees uh, has been in order to construct the Gomery Hu tree, um, we're, we reduced to uh, uh, single source uh, mean cuts. And then using uh, the isolating cuts procedure, uh, uh, we use calls to uh, the maximum flow uh, uh, single pair algorithm. Now, uh, what I'm going to talk about is this reduction between uh, Gomery Hu tree uh, and uh, Gomery Hu tree construction and single source mean cuts. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, how to do it uh, without randomization, but uh, using something that we call dynamic pivot. But in order to do that, I want to uh, talk a bit about the Gomery Hu algorithm. So uh, in this algorithm, initially uh, T is a single super node associated with the, the entire node set of the graph. And this environment is maintained throughout the execution. And at each iteration, uh, two processes happen at the same time. Uh, we can think about them independently. Uh, one is that uh, super node I is being picked and uh, split into two. And then there is a new edge between the uh, two parts and uh, edges previously, connect, previously connected to uh, I are now uh, connected to either uh, one side or the other side. And we continue to pick nodes that are not single tones. Uh, split them uh, until uh, all of uh, uh, the super nodes are single tones and we uh, effectively have a uh, weighted tree uh, on the same set of nodes as the given graph. Now the second process tells us how to partition uh, uh, super nodes. So um, we pick an, a super node i and then for every subtree adjacent to i we consider all of the nodes in its super nodes and we contract them in the graph. And then we get what is called the auxiliary graph of i. And then we pick a pair of nodes s and t from i. We find their minimum cut, their minimum st cut in the auxiliary graph. And then it tells us how to partition i into two, which value to put in the new edge between the two parts, and also how to reconnect the subtrees to either the side of s or to the side of uh, t. Okay, so this is the Gomery Hu algorithm. Now it is uh, easy to see that uh, it doesn't matter the cut equivalent tree, how it looks like, uh, it always takes n applications of maximum flow, which is very wasteful. So uh, let's assume um, we have a very good algorithm, a very fast algorithm for uh, the single source version. Now, can we use randomness in order to uh, uh, find the Gomery Hu tree fast? Okay, so uh, let's pick a node at random. So we know that it's likely that uh, our node will be uh, around the middle. So uh, if the cut equivalent tree uh, edges are, uh, if the cut equivalent tree is a star and the edges are ordered uh, from one to 17, as, as it looks like here, uh, uh, the pivot that we pick at random might be uh, just the one uh, below eight. And then applying the single source uh, or sinks uh, algorithm, we'll be able to identify all of those cuts, all of the cuts whose values are smaller than eight, uh, but all of the other cuts, we wouldn't learn a lot about them because the cut would be just uh, the single tone P. But it is easy to see that uh, we have progressed a lot because for uh, roughly half of the nodes, we uh, know their cuts in the tree. Now, uh, the challenge with uh, an arbitrary pivot is that we might not le learn a lot of information at all. So let's assume uh, P is a leaf of uh, uh, value one, the adjacent edge, uh, it's adjacent edges of value one. And all of the other edges in the graph in the category entry are of um, uh, value more than one. In this case, it doesn't matter uh, that we, uh, how fast the single source uh, algorithm that we have, um, the only cut that we're going to see is the single tone P. Okay. Uh, so this is the challenge that we are uh, uh, overcoming in this paper, uh, which is exclu exclusive to this paper. Uh, our uh, techniques for uh, single source, uh, uh, let me mention, they can be randomized using uh, standard tools such as uh, splitters. And, uh, and the issue is that they, uh, generally speaking, the random pivot technique is not so easy to randomize. So uh, 
So this is where uh, our uh, dynamic pivot techniques uh, comes into play. And so uh, now let me uh, talk about the algorithm. So uh, first we pick uh, a node of highest degree as a pivot. Okay. And then we run the single source uh, algorithm for P and we partition uh, the 3T accordingly. Okay. Now, if along the execution, we find a minimum PQ cut, okay, that is bad. So it means that the side of P in this cut is smaller than half of the nodes. Then uh, we simply switch P with Q. So Q is going to be the new pivot. Moreover, we, when we do this uh, switching, we go over all of the nodes uh, in V prime, the relevant nodes in the super nodes. And if the estimate that they had for a cut from the pivot is bigger than the value of the new cut, then the value of uh, this new cut between P and Q, then we uh, change, we set their uh, new estimate to be uh, this cut. Okay. All right. Now, uh, the running time of this algorithm, uh, applying the pivot changing protocol takes uh, O of one time per node for all of the updates. And so that totals to O of N. Uh, this is negligible compared to the time of the maximum flow leading to that pivot change. Now, as far as correctness, uh, the main idea is that the correctness is similar to uh, the correctness of the randomized algorithm, uh, since the uh, pivot change protocol makes it as if the new pivot, Q in this case, uh, was the pivot from the start. Okay, and now I'll go over the uh, options for V. V is a node that uh, we already know its uh, value, uh, its minimum cut value from P. And we also know that uh, uh, it's a valid cut. So it, it is, uh, it's, uh, the cut is of uh, the number of nodes in the side of V in the cut is more than uh, half of the nodes in the super node. Okay, so in the first case, uh, we have V uh, that is not uh, in SPQ. Okay, so if this is SPQ, this, this is the, the uh, minimum cut that we found between P and Q, that is not good then we know that uh, V is not there. Now, uh, the value of uh, SV is smaller than the value of PQ. And the reason is that SV is a minimum PV cut. Okay. So the algorithm would assign uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the estimation of V to be uh, just SV. Now, uh, the claim is that SV is a QV cut. So Q cannot be in the side of V in SV. Now, the reason is that if Q was there, then we would not change the pivot. Uh, now, since we change the pivot, uh, we know that uh, the side of, uh, of uh, uh, Q in the cut must be uh, uh, bigger than half of the nodes. So um, let's assume towards contradiction that there is a cut uh, separating Q and V that has a value smaller than SV. So in this case, it's two. Now we have two options. If P is not in S prime, so it's not in the side of V, then this cut is a smaller cut than the cut between P and V that uh, we already knew uh, exists. So that's a contradiction. And now if P is in the side of S prime, in the side of V, I'm sorry, in S prime, then uh, this cut is smaller than the cut between the, the minimum PQ cut that we already uh, found. So that's not possible. Now, the second case is if um, V is inside SPQ. Okay, now um, we know that both SV and SPQ are uh, QV cut. Okay, so the algorithm simply picks uh, the estimation of V to be the minimum between these two. Now, if uh, P uh, now, as, I'm sorry, assume towards contradiction that uh, uh, the value of, uh, that there is a, a cut S prime uh, of value smaller than these two, separating V and Q. Now, if P is inside uh, S prime, so it's in the same side as V, then again, it implies uh, a cut between P and Q smaller than the cut that we assumed is optimal. 
And if P is not there, then it, is, it, it implies a cut between P and V that is smaller than the cut we assumed is uh, uh, optimal for V. Now the conclusion is that uh, uh, we found a general technique for randomizing uh, randomized pivot procedures. And the main open problem is to de-randomize the new gomery hu tree algorithm. Uh, now the issue is that the single source algorithm itself is not easily randomized. Uh, in particular, sampling the tree out of uh, packets. Uh, thank you. <laughs>